audience. Uh, my name is Brittany Eastler. Um, hey, ladies, it's uh, it's okay to adjust your bra in front of your drug dealer. Just don't say this wire is killing me. <laughs> and it's okay to say this wire's not killing me, unless you're a fetus. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That was a new tag tonight. I appreciate you. Where are my parents at? <laughs> Um, oh my god, you ever been so proud of your fucking child to say something so fucked up? <laughs> okay, for example, I was at Walmart the other day, and um, I was going to make sliders for dinner, and <laughs> we were in the bread aisle, I said, I turned to my oldest, and I'm like, hey dude, uh, just grab those slider buns, and he was like, slider buns? I barely know her. <laughs> So proud. <laughs> um, I had another moment with my youngest in the car the other night. Uh, we were driving downtown. It was date night for us. I do dates with my sons. Woo! Yeah. Um, <laughs> he needs to learn how a lady treats him, you know? He needs to learn how. Okay, fuck you guys. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, we're, we're held up at a stoplight. And I turned to the car next to us, and there is a couple visibly arguing in the car. And I'm like, Kale, look! And he's like, what do you think they're saying? And I'm like, I don't know, but I think she's saying like, Thomas, don't, don't, don't throw this away. And he hops right into character. He becomes Thomas. He's like, Martha, you lying, dirty, cheating whore. <laughs> and I'm like, Thomas, there's just one time I didn't mean that. Martha, get the fuck out of my truck. And I'm like, okay. But Thomas, it's cold outside. And he says, Martha, there is a hobo right there who will keep you warm. I know, I was surprised. And, and now I'm Martha. And I'm taking this personal. And I'm like, but Thomas, I bet he has a bigger dick than you. <laughs> and, and my 12 year old looks me in the eyes and he says, I bet he does. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been so proud of my fucking life, dude. That is some big dick energy. <laughs> Come out some hypothetical small dick. <laughs> and then the light turned green and we had to move on. <laughs> very, very proud of my son's sense of humor. So, uh, what's next? Oh my God. So, I'm gonna miss something to you guys. My boyfriend's Puerto Rican and I, <laughs> I love his ass. You guys know about Latino, Latina ass? Bubble butt, oh my god. All right, so my boyfriend, he's out of town. He's like, I'm watching, you know, Marvelous Miss Maisel. And I'm like, thinking of you. I'm like, I am watching gay twink porn. <laughs> thinking of you. <laughs> I didn't tell him. <laughs> I don't have big dick energy, okay? <laughs> okay, that soaked up that fucking thumbnail. All right. On the finger puppets! You guys ready for this shit? Woo! Thank you! Uh, there's very... Uh, there's a lot of different kinds of intelligence. I hate people who are like, yeah, I'm smart, I'm an IQ, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, motherfucker. There are eight, maybe nine types of different intelligence. You can be mathematically intelligent and not emotionally intelligent. There's so many different kinds of being intelligent. And I respect that, you know? Like, your IQ don't mean shit. And fuck you. So anyways, 
Um, I am not what they call spatially, visually intelligent. I cut a fucking finger off. Oh! I know, right? And the motherfucker sewed it up like a dick. You see that? It's got a, it's got a mushroom tip. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I know. And when I fucking first cut my finger off, um, they gave me enough drugs to meet God. <laughs> and so when I met God, I was like, motherfucker, why are we doing this right now? And he was like, Brittany, someday you're going to want to be a comedian. And I was like, that fucking makes no sense right now. And then they sewed it up like a dick. <laughs> right? So now we do finger puppets. Um, it doubles as a foosball player. Hey. Boom. <laughs> Boom. And if I'm a goalie, <laughs> Boom. Okay. Um, it also doubles as a, you know, like a ratio of the man of my dreams. <laughs> it also doubles as a Puerto Rican. <laughs> okay. Um, got a couple more. Um, this is an impression of a man um, at a steakhouse realizing he's late for an appointment. You guys ready for this? You gotta pay attention. Okay. He's cutting his steak. <laughs> what did good? He realizes the time. <laughs> Waiter! <laughs> All right, this is a little bit of a stretch, but um, <laughs> I'm reminded every time I use a uh, my cell phone to spread the screen. <laughs> does somebody does the breaststroke? <laughs> and maybe once upon a time there was a man who was doing the breaststroke across the English Channel, and he wasn't ready because it's long, and people are ambitious and stupid. Mm -hmm. And he drowns. <laughs> My favorite time doing that joke was at, was at the psychedelic show. I was on mushrooms, and the audience was on mushrooms. And I was like, and this girl in the front row was just like, oh, oh. and I was like, bitch, calm down. This is my tragedy. Oh. <laughs> Not yours. All right. So, um, I like to tell kids, um, you know why they call it the bird? Because if you use it too much, that shit will fly right off. <laughs> right? Um, I wor I've worked in the trades for years, and there are kids coming through my warehouses, like, meh, 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 fucking around. And, I, and then I show them this finger, and I'm like, you know what happened last time? I did what you did. And their parents turn to me, and they're like, you're a monster. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I am. <laughs> All right, um, let's see what else I wrote down. The, um, you guys have been amazing, by the way. <laughs> uh, Andrea, how much time do I have left? Okay, so I um, can credit Ben Verbeck for helping me write this joke three years ago. So, uh, <laughs> my kids, three years ago, they were 9 and 11. That's right, my personal 9, 11. Because they kept bombing me with questions like, Mom, where do babies come from? And I'm not going to fucking raise retarded children. I told them the truth. 
Booze and bad decisions, honey. That's right. <laughs> I never would have fucked your dad sober. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this motherfucker is working on his PhD right now, and I'm just like, fuck you. All right. <laughs> but anyways, I'm just glad my sons have an ambitious fucking father. Um, you know what? I'm going to divert. <clears throat> So, I was 25 and he was 26. And he had an affair with a 17 year old. Yes. I know, imagine my shock, right? He met her at work and I, I confronted him about it. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? I, I finally like pieced together the whole situation. I was like, what do you have in common with a 17 year old girl? She doesn't even know who the Spice Girls are! <laughs> My name is Brittany Geisler. 